From early February through mid-March, meteorologists around the world have been tracking a cyclone, Cyclone Freddy. It started off the coast of Australia in the Indian Ocean, tracked across the entire Indian Ocean, and then making landfall in Madagascar and then Mozambique twice. Now, this storm system caused significant damage in Mozambique and is over towards Malawi, uh, where hundreds of people have died due to severe flooding coming from it. But I also want to touch on some of the records Cyclone Freddy has broke over its month plus long lifespan. For starters, the storm first formed on February 4th and was named on February 6th and lasted all the way through March 11th, 34 days in total, smashing the previous record set in 1994 by Hurricane John. That one lasted 31 days. Freddie also broke the record for the most energy output from a storm. That means how much energy it accumulated throughout its lifespan. This is also known as a storm's ace. Now to put in perspective just how much energy came out of the storm system, its total amount of ace was about the equivalent what the North Atlantic hurricane season sees with all the storms on average in any given year. Freddie also went through several periods of rapid intensification with warming oceans worldwide. We are seeing this more often. A period of rapid intensification is defined as an increase in wind speed of 35 miles per hour in less than 24 hours, which Freddie did a record seven times. Now these records are still going to be evaluated by the World Meteorological Agency, but what we know for sure is this was a noteworthy storm, not only in the Indian Ocean, but also worldwide. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.